robotics involves the interfacing of biology and electronics in order to improve human performance. An example is the cochlear ear implant, the bionic ear. This sophisticated device uses state-of-the-art electronics to enable sound to be converted to a series of electrical impulses that are then transmitted to the appropriate nerve cells. Even with such high-performance electronics, the overall performance of bionic devices is determined by the nature of the electrode cellular interface. When an electrode is implanted into a living system, this initiates a cascade of molecular and cellular events. These events determine the composition and structure of that interface, and this in turn determines our ability to transmit electronic information across it. The molecular and cellular events initiated upon implantation are determined by the electrode materials used. For some time, we have been limited to the use of metals for this purpose. Now, the advent of organic conducting polymers provides some significant opportunities. Organic conducting polymers, such as polypyrrole, can be rendered highly bioactive at the point of synthesis. Biologically active proteins, such as nerve growth factors, and even living cells are readily integrated with the organic conductor. To provide further control over the development of the electrode cellular interface, the properties of organic conducting polymers can be tuned in situ. For example, electrical stimulation can be used to induce significant changes in surface energy, giving us the ability to tune interactions with water and other biologically significant molecules. The release of biologically active molecules incorporated into the polymer at the point of synthesis can also be initiated by electrical stimulation. This enables control over the chemical environment that will determine the nature of the electrode cellular interface. To add a further dimension, electrical stimulation can be used to tune mechanical properties in situ. Using an atomic force microscope probe, we can measure such properties in the nano domain and we can show that the modulus and other mechanical properties are significantly altered by electrical stimulation. Our ability to fabricate organic conducting polymers that support and facilitate cell growth opens up the possibility of developing a conduit for reconnecting severed nerves. We have recently demonstrated that nanodimensional topographical cues can be used to control the direction of neuroid outgrowth. This provides a platform for nerve regeneration or for coupling nerves to a neurally driven prosthetic such as a robotic hand. A number of diseases, and of course trauma, can lead to muscle loss and a need for muscle regeneration. We are developing organic conducting polymers that provide an environment for muscle cell growth. Nanotopographical features on these platforms direct the assembly of the individual cells into muscle fibres and tissue. We envisage that this regrown tissue can be transplanted into an environment where muscle regeneration can occur. Epilepsy affects 1% of the population, and one in three of these individuals are untreatable using conventional approaches. We are involved in the development of organic conducting polymer systems as an implant for epilepsy detection and control. We propose to develop an implant that will be capable of detecting brain signals that provide a warning of an impending seizure. Integrated into this implant will be a polymer network that functions as a reservoir for anti-epileptic drugs. Coupling the electronic warning system using signals arising from the brain will enable triggered release of the drugs when and where they are needed, hence preventing seizures from occurring. Progress in each of these areas of clinical application has been made possible by advances in organic conducting polymers. The advent of organic conductors is changing how we think about the next generation of medical bionic devices as we use these materials to build more effective electrode cellular interfaces, the impact will be widespread and will be profound. The era of organic bionics has arrived and now we will work towards devices to address these important clinical applications.